enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, one fry. Okay, what about my other kids? What's up, class? Good morning, guys. And we got a foolish one, another foolish one. So those of you that's frickle with emotions and those of you that do not like the truth because you don't like the truth and you want it to be this fairy tale land that you want it to be and it's not, you might want to go now, guys. But for the rest of you guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification button so that the bell is on, so that you live and set and you're not late for any more of these classes, guys. All right? So today we got a crazy one. Like I said, a foolish one. Hell of a mother goes off on her baby daddy for only bringing food for his child and not her other nothing for her other three ch children that do not belong to him. Now, this is crazy, guys. So, again, let's just jump right on into this one. Look, y'all, every day my baby daddy come here with one meal for my child. But I have three other kids. We have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing to McDonald's. But what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids from McDonald's, though? Like, that's bogus as hell. Like, you're not going to sit here. Because to answer your question, sis, he's, he's not responsible for your other kids. Now, as a black man in America, in this guy, not gonna see, the first thing they say is, you don't want to take care of your responsibilities. Black men don't have a problem taking care of their responsibilities. But then on the back end, these are the same women that are running their mouth talking about how they're a package deal. Guys, take notes. Stay away from these package deals. These package deals don't come with nothing but stress and stupidity and laziness, guys. All right? Here and make my other kids feel left out, and you're only bringing one child something to eat. Look, there. All right, again, we're going to play that back. You make your other kids feel left out by bringing kids into the world without your shit being together, still relying on government Satan zaddy. You know what I mean? That's what that's what it is. You know what I mean? And it's a, it's a, it's funny how the women that are in position to be CEOs and run businesses, they don't have kids. And that's why they're in position. That's why they're on Instagram with their body looking nice and great and they're styling and profiling because they don't have kids. They didn't fuck the package up. Yes, they have a stupid mindset too, but they didn't mess the package up. There you go, and I bet you we only got one thing in there. I bet you he don't even... I'm finna expose the shit out of him so people can see how he really is. It ain't more than, it ain't more than. And look how stupid these women are, guys. They really think that this is exposing this man for not wanting to take care of his responsibility. This is the foolishness in modern woman logic, guys. And this is because they haven't endured anything. They haven't experienced anything. They're running off old programming. They've been programmed 
to be foolish. They've been programmed to get all you can get out of a situation. Remember, these are the women that swear up and down that they were raised up for love. This ain't got nothing to do. Love ain't got shit to do with this. This is all survival. This is all female nature. Enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, one fry. What he like? What Okay. What about my other kids? What about your other kids? Don't, don't, okay, but them your kids siblings though. Do my kids, do your kids siblings though? So, so he's been my other kids finna be left out. You didn't feed them. You know I don't get my food stamps to the seven. Listen, all right, there you go. That verifies my assumption for those of you that say, oh, you're always assuming. You're always, there you go. She said it out the horse's mouth. One plus one equal two. We get rid of the gray area over here, guys. We, we don't play that gray area nonsense that, oh, show this, show that. We say what the fuck we say and we mean what the fuck we say over here. We knew this. We knew this going into this. And this is sad. And this is how they limit their children. This is how they limit access to their children's father. Now, because he won't bring the other kids food, she will then alienate him from seeing his kid and then cap about how he don't want his kid. He don't want his kid to find any reason to turn this kid, this kid on his, this man on his kid and the kid on this man. But then we turn around and say, it take two to tangle and it take um he should have nut in her you know what i mean all right he's accountable he accountable he shouldn't have nutted in her they're not together and he's taking care of his responsibility so why why do he need this can't answer that though they won't answer that no way no how they won't answer that he don't got no and nowhere do i see he need to feed those other kids she need to keep feed her other kids and now look how fucked up this is gonna be because you think his child gonna get to enjoy this meal his child not gonna get to enjoy this meal yes because the child not gonna want to eat in front of the kids the in front of his brothers and sisters he gonna have to end up break piecing he or she gonna end up a piece she gonna end up with an ice from the soda when when she left the person that is bought for and that's sad. That's limiting. And this is what single mothers do. This is why I tell you, I stay away from these hell of a mothers, bro. These hell of a mothers ain't shit, yo. And that's a cap. That's no cap. That's no cap. No crab leg on that. They not, they not right because they not programmed right. They running off of stupid beliefs, bro. But if you're trying to help out, though, you're I, not I'm helping not, out. I'm not trying to help. I'm trying to help my son. My how son. are you helping your son when you're only getting kids? So now, this is not slavery right here, guys. This is not slavery. She's not stealing from her child. She's not, this is not stealing from her child. This woman is not stealing from her child. So her child got to lose in the end. You know what I mean? And this is why my channel was made. My channel was created to help the next generation, to bring up the next generation of men and little men and little girls and make sure that they get the right programming they get the right information because they're not getting the right information from these fuck parents, yo. They not. The parents are still trying to make it all about them. Trying to make it all about them. You know what I mean? Why can't you get off your ass? If that's the case, mom, give him his child. You see, this is the trick, right? This is the child support. See, this is the best interest of the child. You know, the best interest of the child is to be with the parent that's gonna provide the best living situation. And obviously, this child need to be with her dad, his dad, because his dad got what the child needs. See, the moms want the possession of the child, because as long as you have possession of the property, government say anxiety will give you something, and you don't got to work. And you could just use the fact that I got to watch these kids so I can't work. So I can't, so government say anxiety, I can just collect government say anxiety and, and see, 
It's a scam. And they don't want to talk about this. And they attack you when you talk about this. I made a post that said child support. This is a, now this nigga will get sent to child support because say if they work something out, say if they paying cash money right now and he did this too many times and she felt all my kids ain't getting, she will put him on child support, guys, just so that she can control the funds. So it won't be none of this separation. She can take this one income from this guy and divvy it out between all of her other kids. She has three other kids that don't belong to this man. So his child is never going to get what the, his child should deserve. You know what I mean? And that's sad. But they don't talk about this, though. You sound dumb. How is that dumb? You sound dumb. You sound dumb. Where are they daddies at? Nobody told you to talk to mother. You had them other kids. They're, they're your responsibility. They're not my responsibility. Okay, but if you're going to bring one, you need to bring it for all. Please, please, How do that please, shit look that I'm please, letting please, one please, child please, eat please. McDonald's and all the rest of the kids can't eat no fucking McDonald's? So you know I get food stamps on the 11th. Three kids that ain't mine. Three kids that ain't mine. Yeah, like, like, passionately ignorant, yo. And she passionate screaming that shit. Like, that's your business, man. Why did you make four mistakes? Why did you let why did you let four nuts bust in you and you choose to bring those children into this world? You see, let's put some accountability on the woman now. Because the one thing that don't change, we could change out the baby fathers, and we see we have proof that one of her baby fathers. One of her baby fathers ain't the lousy nigga, ain't the, the slouch of a nigga, all right? And just the fact that he's not the slouch of the nigga and he's actually trying to talk logic to this dummy, we know why she, the other three baby fathers or two or whichever many ain't there in the picture. Yeah, they did the, they did the, the, the shop at suckers thing and just left off, but how we know she ain't alienate them. Not everybody is patient. Not every man gonna be patient as this man right here, bro. At some point, you gotta wash your hands and be done for your own peace. And you gotta let her get a property and let her ruin it. You know what I mean? You gotta at some point. But again, we be programmed into kissing women ass. We be programmed into, oh, yo, know, just don't be rude. Don't be, don't. Yo, listen, cut that shit out, yo. Cut that shit out. You take care of your responsibility, and that's it. You're not obligated to take care of this bitch responsibilities. Airhead siblings. You, you knew what you was getting into when you had a baby with me. I know the fuck I did. Yes, you did. Ain't no man. Listen, no man. Ain't 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 no man. Ain I get you messing with you. Me, we might have a baby, and I might be on child support for the baby for 21 years. But ain't no man messing with you gonna know that I have a baby with you, and I gotta supply the babies that you have. And what about the babies that you have after mine? So I gotta supply for those mismanagements of coochies too. Fuck out of here. Who they think niggas is dumb. All niggas is supposed to do is shut up and just sponsor these bitches nowadays, yo. And they all programmed like that. All programmed like that. If you watched the BET Awards the other night, Sunday night, guys, you saw how all of the women want to be pampered and catered to. They all want to be prized. They all want to be God. And, 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 and that's a failure. That's a failure. Any one of you niggas put them in that God position, you going down. You going down. Okay, but you still had a baby with me who have kids with other people. I still have other kids. Because I'm exposing everybody think you're such a motherfucking good daddy. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're How's she going to try to discredit his fatherhood because he won't buy your other kids? You're, this is the deadbeat mom shit. This is a deadbeat moms. Guys, classic. Hell of a mother shit. Make sure you share this video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. But make sure you share this one. When when you get one of them captain ass Roe versus Wade, one of them pro abortioners on this one, catch him. Catch him. Catch him good with this one, yo. Catch him good with this one. This that single mother stupid, stupid shit right here. This is a ratchet. This is a ratchet one right here, guys. This is a this is a Keisha. How Jab say this is a Keisha, right? Here. This is a Street Fighter. This is mismanagement of coochie right here. She just dumb. Just ignorant. Full of shit in this You only come here with one 
fucking piece of food for one child. The child that's mine, silly. No, so, that's dumb that you can't feed the other kids. Don't feed nobody at all. Then he can't had, take that. Listen, he can't eat it. Maybe if you had one or two, I'd be like, you know, maybe. You got it's four, it's three extra kids. What the fuck? Do I like go to my mother's account? Spend money on those, all those kids. Them's not, them not my kids. Them are your kids' siblings, though. Dumb. So that's, that's, that's what you're going to go with? That's the one you're going to go Those with? are your fucking kids' siblings. That's mental slavery. She trying to flip it, guys. She trying to make him feel bad for her mistakes. Don't do that. Don't let these women try to flip nothing, bro. You doing the right thing. And in fact, you talking too much. That that soda, the ice is melting. The burger getting cold. It's time to spin off and be like, fuck it. Remember, guys, I tell you, you're not losing nothing. You're not losing nothing, bro. You're not. Yeah, and you know, I know we get attached to these babies, man. I know we get attached to these babies. But for your own peace, for your own peace of sanity, you got to look. Right now would be the time that I would, I would look her dead in the face, guys. I tell you this all the time. And I would say, do you want me to be the child father? Do you want me to be the father to this kid? And whatever she says, she's going to live with that. Because whatever she say, that's what I'm going to do. And you got to do that, guys. You got to do that. You got to do that. You will forever be the simp dad until you until you stand up for yourself. And that's how you stand up for yourself. That simple. You ain't got to say it rude. You ain't got to be disrespectful. You just got to look her in the eyes and tell her. And be prepared to lose the, lose the bond and, or the attachment, the, the, the attachment you got with your kid. You know what I mean, be prepared to lose all that. But, but God is real. And God know everything. God see everything. And you got to understand how God communicate with them children because them children is pure. You know what I mean? Them children is pure. So, yeah, you'll feel like, yo, she got them against me. Listen, God have his ways, bro. You just got to keep the faith and don't harden your heart because of her stupidity, guys. Yeah. So don't. No, I didn't say you have to take care of them. You can bring them something to eat if you bring one something to eat. I bring them. Food every other day. What do you mean? Exactly, but you don't never bring food for the other ones. Please you know I get my food stamps on the 11th. Your babies. Okay, hey, but I'm on. saying we share the, the same thing, kid you, you as have, well. Absolutely. So if you want to, you, you feel like a feel away about eating, take him in the room and let him. I'm not taking my kid or in the room. Him down to the car. He ain't even got. He ain't got to eat in front of his brother. Just take him right out to the car. Eat with me. No, no. You know what? Fine. Give it here. Thank you. Give it bro, here. Bro, like, Give it here. Give it here. Done. He ain't eating this you. Wow. Now that right there, with that right there be causing the Clifford Burns. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Salute to my guy, Mr. Palmer. That right there be causing the domestic disputes right there, guys. And you see what I meant? But you got to spin off earlier. It's the timing. The timing. She doing anything now to provoke you. She jealous. She jealous. And this be the shit that happened, guys. This is the truth. Fuck all that narrative they try to create. Oh, black men don't build. Black men be running from responsibility. This black man ain't running from responsibility. And if he stay here longer, he gonna be running from police because she fit in the violate. And you gotta know when these dummies is about to take it there. And you can't, you gotta remove yourself, bro. You gotta remove yourself. Turn the other cheek, guys. Because you ain't bringing up for all the other kids. You stupid, stupid. Selfish is a like you're dumb as hell. You're dumb as hell. He not finna eat that. Dumb. 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 He not finna do it. If you can't do it for all, don't do it for none of them. Buy stupid. Don't all finna take that day. That's sad, bro. Sad brothers. Sad brothers, I, I feel bad for anyone that have an ignorant ass one like that. And there's a lot of them running around here because they not raised off love. They raised off of survival. So they take all of them survival tactics and survival skills and they try to perform them and manipulate us with them shits. The shit that they seen they hell of a mother do. The shit that they hell of a mother seen they hell of a grandmother do. And, and it goes on and on. It's the generational curse, guys. Understand. You guys got to start to get closer to your creator. You got to start to reconnect to your Holy Spirit. That's the only thing that's going to save us men out here. That's the only thing that's going to save us men from this wicked, these wicked spirits right here. We got to start fighting the temptation. 
Now, I mean, now you know, more than ever, God told us that that sexual immorality shit, that shit is deceit. That Roe versus Raid, that shit is not cool. That shit is coming at us. That shit is designed to destroy us now, bro. It's designed to destroy us now. Granted, there's some states like mine, New York City, who is going to be tour the tourist attraction for, for new for new bitches ready, to, for Lilith bitches ready to kill babies. You know what I mean? But in any event, guys, God is trying to adjust this shit back. He's trying to take the power back. 2020 ain't happened for no reason, and this shit ain't happening for no reason, yo. All right? Stay alert, yo. Strap up, wrap up, drink responsibly. Don't play with your life, guys. We do it for the culture over here. This is the righteous fear where we eliminate the gray area and we only talk about the truth. You know what I mean? We only talk about the truth and solutions. We don't force our beliefs on anybody. You know what I mean? If you know, you know. And if you don't, oh well. You know what I mean?